G'day, Scott here from Scott's Hobbies, and welcome to the second episode of Can You Sharpen On It? And I have a piece of terracotta here, which is a fired clay, and it does have sort of little rocks and stuff in it, so it's not completely clean or pure. And I haven't surf haven't flattened any of the surfaces, I'm just going to try and use it as it is, find the smoothest one, probably there. And um, yeah, I'm going to have a go sharpening on that. And I have this little, little stainless steel paring knife here to sharpen, made in Japan. Has, can you see that? RS stainless on there and a couple winged lions or tigers or something. I thought it was a quite quite a nice little paring knife. It's an old one for sure and I'll sand the handle up one day and put some more oil on it but we'll see how it goes for being sharpened on this Something's coming off, it could just be the stone. It does feel like I'm biting in, so it's definitely doing something. Try that bit, a bit smoother there. It's just sort of gone really dull and then they dropped it at an op shop and I ended up picking it up for a dollar, so I was pretty happy with that, or 50 cents or something. It likes to load up pretty quick. But it does feel like it's cutting. Definitely need plenty of water. Likes to load up. You can see that on the tissue there. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely cutting the steel. The bevel is really uneven on this knife. It's almost non-existent on one side and quite wide on the other, so I'm trying to even it out a bit. Starting to get a burr. Definitely dries out pretty quick. I think the it must be soaking up the water or something. I have a fairly large surface here so I can use it kind of like a bench stone but if you only had a little bit you could use or there was only a little smooth bit you could sort of just do circles do little circles okay we've achieved a burr all the way on one side Because of the shape of the piece I have, it's quite hard to get right in there. Alright, just about done, just doing some a few light strokes on each side. I got my normal leather belt that I strop on, so I found this scrap in the shed, but hopefully it'll do. Should work. This is just bare leather, no compound. 
So this just helps remove anything that's left of the burr and then you're left with the scratches from the whatever you sharpen on. But bare leather just uh, helps fold anything back and forth and pull any burr off that's left. I'm actually quite surprised. Let's try a little, uh, well I'll show you first. It has actually seemed to have polished it up a little bit. You can see they're not quite the same size but they're closer than they were so next sharpening they'll get closer again. Let's try some uh, some hair off. Am I on camera? That's pretty good. Much better than the sandstone. Let's try a bit of, I'll find a bit of magazine paper or something. Alright, got some catalogue paper here. Oh yeah. It's definitely not a perfect edge, but I actually think if I spent a bit more time on it, I could get it a bit better. That is much, much, much better than the sandstone. And it was very blunt when it started. I couldn't even, um, what do you call it? You go like that, you can't even cut yourself, so. It appears I got the chips out that were in there too, the little nicks in the blade. Yeah, so I'm gonna call it a pass. You can definitely sharpen on terracotta. Find yourself a bit that's uh, smooth enough, or if you have two bits you could rub it together and smooth them out. And, you know, some of them you can see, especially on the end here. Yeah, hopefully you can see if the camera focuses. You can see there's some impurities and stuff in there, so if you can dodge a bit with the little rocks and whatever in there and use your leather belt for a strop or something else you've got on you as a makeshift strop, you can get a pretty good edge off a piece of terracotta if you don't have a stone. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If these are your kind of videos then you definitely want to subscribe because I've got a lot more of them coming on a whole lot of different uh, mediums to try shopping on. Have a good one.